Hi guys, welcome to a hey Math Group. Today, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to solve inequalities. So let's say that you have an inequality like this, and we need to solve for x. Well, you're gonna do the same thing as you had an equation. We're gonna go ahead and move all the x's to the left and all the numbers to the right. All right, how do I do it? This is exactly just like if you had an equation. Anytime I move from right to left, if I'm adding, it's gonna change signs. For example, this negative two x, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to, I'm gonna move it to the left side. So if it's negative, I'm just gonna do plus two x, right? This eliminates and this is five x plus five greater than six. Then I'm gonna move this five to the right side. If it's positive, I just do minus and then minus and I'm gonna have five x greater than six minus five is equals to one. Finally, I'm just gonna go ahead and divide by five, and I get that x is greater than one over five. Now, let's graph this. Remember, I just put one fifth, it's going to the right, open circle. Finally, the interval notation is gonna go from one fifth open parenthesis because I'm not including it, to the positive infinity. If you're having trouble with the notation, remember this is the second video of inequalities. Let's do another example. So let's do another example. Now let's say that we have 5x plus 2 minus 7, and I'm just making this up as I do it, um, less or equals than, and let's put here, 10x plus 6. Now, the first step is to do the parentheses. So we can go ahead and distribute the 5. This is 5x plus 10 minus 7 less or equals than 10x plus 6. The second step is to go ahead and move all the x's to the left and all the numbers to the right. Well, look at this 10x. I'm going to go ahead and do minus 10x minus 10x and you should do this step by step 5x minus 10x is going to be negative 5x plus 10 minus 7 and just rewriting and this is less or equals than 6. now i can go ahead and group this 10 minus 7 which is going to be 3. so now i have negative 5x plus 3 less or equals than 6. finally i'm moving this guy to the right because remember, all the numbers should be together. So we're gonna have negative five x, okay? Less or equals six minus three is equals to three. Now here you need to be very alert. So we need to leave x by itself, but I have actually a negative number. Look what's gonna happen. Anytime you divide the x by a negative number when you have an inequality, when you're in the last step, your sign is actually gonna flip. So look what's gonna happen. We're gonna divide by negative five, both sides, and look what's gonna happen. x is greater or equal. Now three over negative five is negative three over five. Remember, three over negative five is the same as negative three over five. We always put the negative to the top and voila. Let's review this concept. Let's say that you have negative 2x greater than 6. This is another example, but I just want to do a couple so you understand how to do it. I'm going to cancel. Since I'm divided by a negative, look what's going to happen. x must be less than negative 3 because 6 over negative 2 is negative 3. Another example. Let's say that you get negative x less or equals than five. As you can see here, there is like an invisible one multiplying the x. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide by negative one. So that is the logic. Look what's gonna happen, this is gonna cancel. Since, since I divide it by a negative number, x must be greater or equals than negative five. And that's it. Let's do one more example, x, or let's put uh, negative x greater than negative three. Well, remember, this is an invisible negative one. 
So I'm going to divide by negative 1, negative 1, and look, x is less than. Negative over negative is positive, so x is less than 3. This is just practice, I promise you. As long as you practice, you'll be okay. So it is time for a little quiz. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and solve these inequalities and then graph them and put them into interval notation. So let's say that they tell me negative 3x plus 2 greater or equals than, and then let's go ahead and put a, um, I don't know, let's just put a 9 here. So how do I solve this? Negative 3x greater or equals, remember this is negative 2, negative 2, and this is going to be 9 minus 2, which is equals to 7. Now, I have a negative, so I'm going to divide by negative 3, negative 3. Remember, and I hope you're doing this thing exactly as me, 7 over negative 3 is negative 7 over 3. Perfect. If I want to go ahead and graph this, remember, put the number, then less than, that means that it's going to the left. Now I put including it. And then if I want to do this in interval, remember this is negative infinitive, positive infinitive, and this is negative infinitive, and then it stops in 7 over 3 bracket. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. You can always Skype with us. And just please visit our website for our tutoring packages. Thank you so much and also thanks so much for learning.